Hi folks, I'm planning on doing some cycle vids, what I've started on my other channel. Um, just go over to, uh, it's called, um, what have I called it? Oh, Street Hawk. Um, now, the one thing I won't do is wear cycle helmets because I just don't see, for me, that I don't see any point. Um, I mean, this woman on this picture on her own channel, which is Wheels are Up to Wonder, well, she's cycling around Iceland. Right, no, probably a few, few cars, uh, so no trees by the looks of it, nothing. Um, and the helmets she's got on top of this huge woolly hat. So it's right on top. I mean, it's not even covering your head by the looks of it. I, 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 and this is what, this is to me sums it all up. It's middle class people trying to feel safe. And, you know, looking to look at me, I've got this cycle helmet on. Gosh, aren't I a wonderful person type thing? And I question it. I think, well, what is the point? You know, what is that actually doing? Is that going to, you know, because I presume because it's on, you know, with it being on top of a, um, a you know, on top of a woolly hat, I presume that if she did come off side, you know, you, you fall on your side, it just pushed the helmet straight off her head. I don't see how that's going to... But what, what is it supposed to be protecting in what way? Unless, you know, a rock comes out of space. I don't... I honestly don't understand what these people think it's going to do. I mean... It, I, I'm looking at this. I'm going... I see this every day. Now, the one... Be, now, if you're going the wood cycling... I can understand. I would wear one. You know, if you go mountain biking in woods, because there's branches everywhere, whack you in the head, you die. Or you could be very ill. I mean, I walked into a branch, it didn't half hurt, so cycling full whack, I'd imagine, could kill you. Or if you're racing, I could understand for the streamline of it, but, you know, it's this sort of, oh, I feel safer. Oh, I just don't see the point. I mean, this is why I won't wear them. And I know that if you look at the reports, it's hit or miss. A lot say they're pointless. And my view is, and this is the thing I've noticed and observed in these things, when you're cycling or driving, and do this, if you drive or just, or even if you cycle, just watch what happens when, when you see people with cycle helmets on. Cars get close to them because they presume they're safe for cyclists. I've seen them get very close. If you see people like me who don't wear them, cars usually give you a lot more room because they don't, you know, I think psychologically they see you as not being as safe, so you might be in and out. Um, I get cars, look, people, and people have said this to me, how come they're not, how come they're not as close to you? And I said, because I don't wear all the gear. I don't go around looking, you know, because one of the things, I mean, you know, again, one of the irritations I have is all these people are starting to put others off cycling because, you know, they're so self-righteous in their little helmets and things. It becomes a bit irritating, doesn't it, folks? Anyway, that's why I don't like being associated with them. And the other thing I get, really, there's a couple of other pet aches to cyclists. I might as well cover them. One, I, I saw a bloke cycling full speed. Uh, he did the YouTube read and he was complaining because... It was saying, oh, people should grab hold of the dogs as they get close, right? First of all, in most canals, it says um, people have rights over the cyclists. It actually says that. And I walk, I both cycle on the path uh, on, on the canals as well as walk the dogs. I'm not going to grab the dogs every 30 seconds that just because you want to go fast. Um... I mean, especially if you've got several dogs, what am I supposed to do? Grab them all. They don't all come to me. Um, I mean, somebody did this the other day, a few years ago. He tried being a clever clog and Zoom passed. And my mate's dog, she, he just, she just moved slightly towards him. Um, and he fell off his bike. And my mate were going, oh, apologies, apologies. I said, sod you, you nearly killed that dog. You're lucky. Because, you know, I'm in a good mood today. You're lucky. Right, and the other one, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, these the ones that go full speed because you can go quite fast on some of these bikes now and then um, start getting upset because a car pulls out. Well, here's the thing, folks the one that will you get told when you're driving is you're supposed to go no faster than what you can break. 
So if you're cycling full speed and you can't brake in time because a car or a person or whatever pulls out, you're going too fast. That's my pet hate. So don't stop whinging. You know, I get... Cars make mistakes. That's, a, you know, one of the things about driving is you know that's what you're supposed to expect. Cars make mistakes. I, you know, when I'm cycling, I expect cars to make mistakes. You presume it. That's how you keep safe. If you're being a clever clogs and going, oh, full whack down the hill because you want to go fast and you go colliding the car, I don't actually have any sympathy for you if you go over it because you shouldn't be going that fast. Um, anyway, those are a little bit pet hates getting bit, but I just thought, I just saw the, I was just watching this vid. I just thought, what is she got that helmet on top of her head for wasting her time? Just what is it? Just, uh, I mean, maybe it's for the advertisers won't give her the kit. I don't know. But it just looks ridiculous, doesn't it, folks? I mean, I see these self-righteous middle-class people all the time doing things like this. And you're thinking, it isn't doing any use. You just look daft. You know, but you see, it's we're living this health and safety thing, don't we? I, I get irritated, folks, when I see all this nonsense health and safety. Like I've said, when you see when you're walking the dogs and you see kids wearing Ivy's vests, oh God, in the woods, what the cars there? Uh, someone tried just to find it. Oh, they might get lost. Well, if they get lost, you're not going to see them anyway. I mean, what a ridiculous thing! There's no, there's no reason. These people just invent this invented. Oh, what if scenarios that don't when you actually analyse it are nonsense. You know, I mean, I had uh, a policeman do this what if scenario ages ago because he, he was searching the car and he found a pen knife. And, oh, what if somebody breaks in and uses that as a weapon? I says it's too easy. There's a, there's a supermarket over there. You can buy a bigger blade there. Easy. It's quite easier than breaking in my car, which what you're going to break in every single car until you find a pen knife. See, this is what people do. They come out with this what-if nonsense all the time. When you actually... I mean, so often that takes my by shock and I don't argue it because it's so nonsense. I'm thinking, oh, it must be me. It must be me, folks. Oh, ooh. Anyway.